Hello friends, my name is Catherine and welcome to Storytime. Let's start with our welcome song. friends and a special hello to Mari, Hajin, and Poram. Let's start with a really funny silly song called Down by the Bay and we'll sing it a little bit faster each time. Okay, let's start. Down by the another song and these days we're doing a lot of hand washing so here's a little song you can sing when you're washing your hands so put out one hand like this and we're gonna go tops and bottoms other hand tops and bottoms in between in between rub them all together rub them all together Rinse them clean, rinse them clean. And you should do that as you're washing your hand with soap. Okay, let's try that again. Pump some soap into your hands. Here we go. One hand out, tops and bottoms. Other hand, tops and bottoms. In between, in between. Rub them all together, rub them all together. Rinse them clean, rinse them clean. Very good. You can do that nice and slow. You can sing that anytime you wash your hands. So it's really important to wash your hands when we come in for playing outside. Also, I'm sure it's super important right before we eat. So for our next story, Speaking of something good to eat, this one's about one of my favorite dishes. It's called Pibimba, written by Linda Sue Park, illustrated by Hobek Lee. Almost time for supper, rushing to the store. Mama buys the groceries, more, Mama, more. Hurry, Mama, hurry, gotta shop, shop, shop. Hungry, hungry, hungry for some Pibimba. Home and in the kitchen, eggs to stir and fry. Mama catch the spatula, flip the eggs high. Hurry, Mama, hurry, gotta flip, flip, flop. Hungry, hungry, hungry for some pibimbap. Rice is on the boil, bubbling in the pot. White and sticky, lickety, steaming good and hot. Hurry, flurry, rice, gotta pop, pop, pop. Hungry, hungry, hungry for some pea bean bop. Mama's knife is shiny, slicing fast and neat. Garlic and green onions, skinny strips of meat. Hurry, Mama, hurry, gotta chop, chop, chop. 
hungry, very hungry for some bibimbap. Spinach, sprouts, and carrots each goes in a pan. Let me pour the water in. Yes, I know I can. Sorry, Mama, sorry. Got a mop, mop, mop. Hungry in a hurry for some bibimbap. Bowls go on the table, big ones striped in blue. I help set the glasses out, spoons and chopsticks too. Hurry, family, hurry, got a hop, hop, hop. Dinner's on the table and it's bibimbap. Quiet for a moment, Papa says the grace. Everybody says I'm in a smile on every face. Rice goes in the middle. Egg goes right on top. Mix it. Mix like crazy. Time for bibimbap. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story. Now speaking of foods we like to eat, let's sing another song. This time with some signs. So the sign for I, just point to yourself. And the sign for like, you pull a string right here with your middle finger and your thumb. The sign for eat, touch your lips like this. And the sign for apple, you take your little finger and tickle your cheek. And what do you think this is the sign for? It's right, bananas. So we're going to sing, I like to eat apples and bananas. Here we go. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Very good, friends. Okay, let's sing one more song. You might know this. It's row, row, row your boat. So everybody, let's climb into our little rowboats, grab your oars, and when we sing together, remember to row your boat just like this. Practice. Now while you row your, the boat with your oars, I'm going to grab my ukulele to play along with us. Okay, here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Now let's row down that stream again and see who we run into. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see an alligator, don't forget to scream. Okay, let's go down the shore now. Let's see who else we run into. Row, row, row your boat gently down the shore. If you see a lion, don't forget to roar, roar. Very good. Now let's go rowing in a lake and see who comes up there. Row, row, row. Long snake, don't forget to shake. Ooh, I don't think they're too scary though. Let's sing one more time. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Thanks for singing along, friends. Okay, let me read one more book. This one is called The Rabbit Listened. This one's written by Corey Dorfeld. One day, Taylor decided to build something. Something new, something special. Something amazing. Taylor was so proud. But then, out of nowhere, crash! Things came crashing down. The 
chicken was the first to notice. Cluck, cluck, what a shame. I'm so sorry, sorry, sorry this happened. Let's talk, talk, talk about it, cluck, cluck. But Taylor didn't feel like talking, so the chicken left. Next came the bear. Grrr, how horrible. I bet you feel so angry. Let's shout about it. Grrr. But Taylor didn't feel like shouting, so the bear left. The elephant knew just what to do. Trumpada, I can fix this. We just need to remember exactly the way things were. But Taylor didn't feel like remembering, so the elephant also left. One by one they came. The hyena, <laughs> let's laugh about it. The ostrich, whoa, let's hide and pretend nothing happened. The kangaroo, tisk tisk, what a mess. Let's throw it all away. And the snake, shh, let's go knock down someone else's. But Taylor didn't feel like doing anything with anybody. So eventually they all left until Taylor was alone. In the quiet, Taylor didn't even notice the rabbit, but it moved closer and closer until Taylor could feel its warm body. Together, they sat in silence until Taylor said, please stay with me. The rabbit listened. The rabbit listened as Taylor talked. The rabbit listened as Taylor shouted. The rabbit listened as Taylor remembered and laughed. The rabbit listened in to Taylor's plans to hide, to throw everything away, to ruin things for someone else. Through it all, the rabbit never left. And when the time was right, the rabbit listened to Taylor's plans to build again. I can't wait, Taylor said. It's going to be amazing. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story. You know, things may happen where you have really big feelings and it's okay to feel those feelings. Just remember, if you need a hug, somebody to listen, or just to sit with you, you can always ask your adult. Okay, let's say goodbye as we end our story time today with our farewell song. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Bye, friends. And I'll see you next time.